Now Dave Henderson was here yesterday with the Audi RS3. Very busy with that Golf R over the winter. Dave Henderson is straight out in front, 121 at the eighth. He clicks off a 9.37 at 153. Wayne Gill goes through with a 10.52 at 127 miles an hour. drag strip. He had been as low as 10s. Let's see where he starts his season off. And he's taking on Bruce Kopaz with the rear wheel drive Porsche. TT 20 valve turbo taking on Paul Jordan again 20 valve turbo four wheel drive We've seen Jordy go down into the night many a time here at Sandford Raceway through to an 11.24 so he is qualified Sanjay goes through with a 12.78 so we're just looking down the bottom end of the track we've got to obviously make sure Jordy can get himself on the track off the track and out of harm's way so on the start line two family members we've got Wayne Waterhouse taking on Chris Waterhouse Chris was here last weekend testing with the Audi S3 that's the black one in the slick tricks racing lane this car is capable of running down into the nines. Again, if you like what you see, VWDRC on Facebook, Instagram, and VWDRC TV on our YouTube channel. And again, thank you very much to all of our sponsors for this year. Hangar 30, The Car Kitchen, CG Motorsport Performance Clutches, Artec Performance. Hopefully we're going to see plenty of cars that have been tuned by them today. Dark Side Developments, again, you know the diesel tuning name. DH Automotive, you've already seen Dave Henderson go down the drag strip with the Audi RS3. Uh, that you'll probably see another car, a few cars from DH Automotive running around today. And there we go. So as we come to the last few pairs of VWDLC heads up cars, we need to one wheel gripping and slipping for Chris Waterhouse. It's going to run a 10, I think. 10.59 at 144 and Wayne goes 12.68 at 109. Right, I think this is our last runner in Vision DLC Heads Up. It is Master Charles with the Oval Beetle Flat 4. Just looking to get some testing runs basically this weekend. Um, he's got to run 11.99 otherwise he doesn't get qualified. He's confident he's not going to run that, but he's getting free runs at least in heads up. Goes through with a 16.97 at 67 miles an hour. Well, he's
So, currently qualified number one, Dave Henderson with the Audi RS3. Henderson as he goes 919 at 154 miles an hour. TT 20 valve turbo four wheel drive taking on Chris Waterhouse. Chris being really aggressive on the start line with the Audi S3 he goes 178 60 foot with the eighth valve doing 108 and this time goes through 1057 at 138 miles an hour. That moves him up to third in qualifying. He jumps over Chris. Number 1297 for Sanjay. So, no improvement for either there. Oh, next pair in them. So, we have got Martin Charles with the Air Cooled Beetle taking on Mark Guns. Oh, Mark's in reverse at the moment. doesn't start until the vehicles move. This is going to be quicker than 1199 and that's all that matters for Mark Guns as he goes through with a 1081 at 139 and Martin Charles goes through with a 1685 at 78 miles an hour. So that is Mark into the shootout. So we're back to qualifying in VWDRC heads up. Number one qualifier, Dave Henderson, our only nine second runner so far. Last qualifier ran a 919. And a Wayne's currently fifth qualified with a 1282, but again, he needs to run 1199. Dave goes 919, 156. That is a bracket car, that is, sir. And a 13.02 at 109. So unfortunately, that is Wayne Waterhouse on, well, not onto the trailer, but joining Ron with your brung. So do you prefer your old school Corrado 20 valve turbo four wheel drive or are you a newbie? Do you like your golf hours? For Mark unfortunately, so it's going to be all about Wayne, 164, 60 foot at the 8th mile doing 106 miles an hour and then goes through with a 10, 55, 133. Weekend is basically three days of racing. You will have Bruce Cabanas run 1199. Off the front for a short while. The eighth mile doing 92. It is still possible, but Bruce goes through 1189, 114. He is qualified for eliminations. Right, next up, Sanjay Vara from Vara Technic. Taking on Martin Charles with that gorgeous Oval Beetle. It's 
been a long, long time since we've seen Martin Charles racing here at Saddlepod Raceway. It's so good to see that beetle back on track. Again, he's just using heads up as a bit of testing. He's getting some laps in. And after that, he might end up in a bit of run with you, Brian. You never know. So 2.1 to 60 foot, the eighth mile, Sunday doing 92. Is it going to be making 11? Nope, 1275, 113. Fortunately, stretch rolls through to a 1909 in the Kestrel beer lane. So that is VWDRC heads up qualifying done. I believe we've got six cars qualified, but unfortunately, Two of them are broken. So we're going to end up straight into semi-finals and a final. But at least we've got four cars. As long as Mark Guns can fix his. Head. is the VWDRC heads up final. We started with 10 cars. We end with two. Out of the 10 cars, five of them qualified under 11 seconds, which meant they went into eliminations. Three of those are broke. So this is to take um, the lead in the BWDRC Championship for Heads Up. Dave Henderson from DH Automotive taking on Wayne Gill. to a 1083 at 132. Congratulations to Dave Henderson, our round one winner in VWDRC Heads Up.